Hi, it's Eliana. So recently I had been tasked to do two remote viewings, one on the Planetary Corporation's Mars Base 5 and the other on the Joint Special Command JSOC Mars Base in the Gale Crater. These two remote viewings showed a lot of interesting information. The remote viewing on Planetary Corp Mars Base 5 showed that there's stuff going on with various extraterrestrials working with human personnel on this particular Mars Base 5, and they're doing genetic experimentation with human DNA. They're doing human ET hybridization. They're creating super soldiers. They're doing cloning. There is components of implanting Neuralink implants into the brain, preparing the brain for expansion, expanded cognition for telepathic communication, synthetic telepathy with these implants because when you have these types of implants, you can tap into any quantum computer system, any holographic interface, download information, upload information. You can get a lot of information in your brain that teaches you how to do jobs, that kind of stuff. And they have DNA sequencing libraries of different ET DNAs being imprinted on humans to make super soldiers to make them faster, stronger, more intelligent, etc., etc. Some of this stuff is very creepy. It is beyond what normal stuff is, and it's not lawful. It, it is it's very creepy. There's also regenerative medicine technology like the medical pods and the memory ingram stations at that Mars Base 5. That stuff exists there, that base is there, the JSOC base joint special command is not too far from the planetary corp base, but it's not planetary corporations, it's JSOC. There's human personnel there. There's also some kind of um, ET species that are tall with pale skin. And the JSOC base is basically an outpost monitoring what extraterrestrials live on Mars what kind of ruins there are on Mars, ancient technology that was left behind after the nuclear wars had happened. So it's basically cataloging everything that's on Mars. It has scientists there. It has military personnel. It has also people that are running this space. And they have a lot of information that they've collected because it's a monitoring outpost. They monitor insectoids, what insectoids live on Mars, what mantids live on Mars, what types of other humanoid original colonists that have bronze skin still live on Mars in underground facilities, well, underground homes and cities that they had built out after the surface level surface level buildings had been destroyed on Mars. The Reptoid Grey Wars. So that is kind of what the second remote viewing is about. And the first one, again, showing that there's tall Nordics, there's insectoid type beings working at these bases with humans. Basically tall humanoid looking beings with white skin and pointed ears at the sec second JSOC base, helping the human personnel upgrade, holographic technology, cohabitation, that kind of stuff. And some of it is, again, quite weird. So what I've done is just giving the basic summary of what these two remote viewings are about. And all these bases are basically masked by holographic emitters, so they can't be seen by satellites, telescopes, or radar because they're shielded also by electromagnetic domes and those holographic emitters, making it look like it's just empty craters, where in actuality these bases are inside the craters or in domed facilities masked by the electromagnetic fields and the domes, so you can't really see 
what's inside the domes because there's cities, there's base facilities. There's also energetic weapons testing and medical laboratories and experimentation going down underground at Planetary Corporation, Mars Base 5. All this stuff is really classified. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's really shedding light on this. But this is part of disclosure. And these remote viewings were tasked double blind by another tasker from the CRV course that I had taken. And that tasker had tasked it to the students in the course. They got freaked out by what they were seeing. So I had asked David Powell to, if I could have him remote view these two targets, and I was tasked to remote view them as well. And we both hit on some interesting information. He got there's men in black, that the, there's nuclear wars, that there's all this genetic modification going on, playing around with genetics, genetic libraries, genetic mapping, creating super soldiers, augmenting human beings, and all kinds of extraterrestrials in the mix. That's similar stuff that I got in my remote viewings of these same targets. So we worked together to basically, with double blind parameters, remote view these targets and see if these bases were really there. And they are there. So that is what I'm just summarizing right here. And my two targets are linked below in the video description on Substack so people can go and have a look at them, read them, look at the images. And I'll also link the videos to David's remote viewing so people can have a look at that as well to see his video whiteboards of these targets. And the truth is out there. Things are much bigger. The bigger picture is quite more than I even thought what the, these bases were. A lot of history on Mars, a lot of information, even some information about these nuclear wars and how the surface of Mars was destroyed and how the evacuation was happening on the planet. That's in both his remote viewing, David Powell's and mine. We both picked up on that, some of the ancient history of Mars, not just the current stuff that's happening there, but also what, what was happening there in the past and why it's the way it is right now. And that there are terraformation projects going on on Mars and it's some, some areas of it have been terraformed. So those are interesting parts of these remote viewing sessions that you will see. Thank you so much.